The first line in Quran says Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So start with the name of God who is merciful and beneficent. Hello guys. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> alaikum salam. <laughs> Okay, so today I invited Tahid and I want to ask you some uh, religious question. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that Pakistan is very Islamic country. True, true, yeah. Mm. But we have 10% uh, uh, non-Muslims too, mm. which is a very important part of our country. You know, 10% of a population, which is 200 million, mm. is a huge number. The, the Pakistani flag mm -hmm. is white yeah, and, and green. green, right? The white part mm -hmm. shows the minorities Minority. oh. and the green part shows the Islam Islamic majority is exactly too. I didn't know that oh yeah really <laughs> I'm gonna ask you the main question sure uh, what does Islam mean to you for me Islam uh, means complete code of life because it tells me everything about my life how should I do what whatever like how should I eat how should I meet people how should I respect people? How should I care people? How should I love people? How should I care animals? How should I care the environment? Everything. So it tells me it is a complete guideline for me about my entire life. Everything in my life. Guide uh, of your life. Exactly. It's the, it's the complete guideline. So of course, because as a Muslim, we believe in all the holy books that were sent by God Quran. covering everything that described in the books previously. Mm -hmm. So this Quran for me is a complete guideline mm -hmm. for my life, you know. Everything, like my education, my daily life, my treatment with my family, my treatment with my kids, my wife, my mom, my dad, everything. It tells me how I should spend my life in a very nice way. It guides me. So that's why I call it a complete code of life. I am proud to belong to such a school of thought that guides me about my everything in life. So that is Islam for me. Uh, like you see, when you ask what is Islam for you to people? I have seen this to many people. Oh, you're Muslim? Oh, what is Islam about? They, all, they would always start with like, Islam tells us don't eat pork, don't drink. So they start with the don'ts. I mean, why would you, why do you need to start with something that is not very important in your religion? What is more important in your religion? The, the first line in Quran says, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So start with the name of God who is merciful and beneficent. So in the first line of the Holy Quran, God tells me his features, his specifications, which is merciful and beneficent. So I want to have those attributes in me too, because I love the God that I believe in. So if he is merciful and beneficent, I would love to be merciful and beneficent in my life too, right? So if I'm not merciful and I say I'm a Muslim and I love Islam and I don't think it's the right thing, not only humans, but also animals, plants, and everything, as I said. People usually talk about the uh, focus on the practicing things. True, true, true. But the real thing is in, in, the, in your heart, in, inside. Exactly, it's true. And as you said, inside, you know, the word religion means re reconnecting you to the nature. What is the nature? The nature is God. We are blessed with this beautiful nature and everything around us by God. The connection between me and nature is religion. So it's a connection between you and your God, right? So it's, it's something, uh, inner thing. Of course, we all other practicing things, actions and those things are equally important. But the base of religion lies in complete code of life. It tells you everything about your life. Not only just pray or fast or don't drink or don't eat or stuff. Yeah, reason yeah. in everything. Exactly. There's a logic, you know. Allah said you don't drink. There is a reason. Some Muslim uh, replied why we don't drink because it's in Quran. But that is also answer, but there there is a reason. It's a very interesting topic that you just brought it up. Uh, for me, because I'm, I'm a Muslim, mm -hmm. I believe I have a faith. I believe in Allah. I believe in everything about Islam, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it makes sense for myself that, oh, because it is written in the Quran, because Allah said this, so that's why I don't do it. It makes sense to me yeah. because I believe in Him. But somebody who doesn't believe in Allah, somebody who doesn't believe in, in what Prophet Muhammad, it will not help that person. Yes, right, right. Uh, for a non-Muslim, I need to have an explanation about everything. Yes, yes. I need to have a logical discussion with them. So I will tell you a really good story. It was about 
believing in God and not believing in God. There's one of my friends, he was from America, he doesn't believe in God. He told me, why do you believe in God? I don't think there's a, there's a God. It makes sense, it's your belief that you think there's no God, but it's my belief that I think there's a God and I have an explanation about it. What is it? And I said like, look bro, okay, let's suppose that there is no God. For example, there's a really bad person, like Nazi, you know, Hitler. There's Hitler here and there's me, Zahid. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't do any bad thing. I'm just trying to spend an easy life and good life. So one day he just dies and I die too. Let's suppose after death there's nothing. That means this bad person and me, we're no different because it's over now. So this guy did a lot of crazy things in life. He's also, he has nothing after life. Me, I just try to spend a good life. And me, I had the same result after, just like him. If that is the situation, I would be really angry, right? Because I, I tried to like do good things and, and then this person tried like crazy things and we're at the same place. So for me, I need a justice system. A justice system that controls the things that didn't get justice in this world. There are lots of things that are not solved in this life. So I need a solution system. I need a justice system after this life or wherever. I don't know. Okay, don't think we have a God or not. It's a different topic, but I need a justice system. Do you believe in this or not? Do you think there should be a justice system for me or not? He said, yes, there should be a justice system. So bro, <laughs> that justice system for me wow. is God. Wow. You know, atheists, I have huge respect for them too because they're different. I have oh, lots yeah, of things, right, right, for, right, exactly. Right. But why I believe? Because I believe in this way. Yeah, so yeah. this is my belief. So, you know, we always need to have a logical explanation about things to make people who don't know understand about your culture. It's not like I don't want him to be a Muslim. I don't, I'm not pushing my Islam mm -hmm. on him. I'm just telling him why I believe in this. And he could tell me the same why he believes in that. Maybe he has a good explanation about that thing too. So we need to, you know, talk to each other and have good discussions about each other. So we learn from each other. Yeah, right, it's not right, about right. becoming a Muslim or non-Muslim or Christian or yes, non-Christian. Yes. I think all religions are really beautiful. Yeah. You don't need to fight with... Exactly. The... For me, like, all religions are beautiful, man. I think core of every religion is same. Every Humanity, religion. love. We don't need to, like, you know push or pull or stuff, stuff like that. Life should be beautiful for everybody, you know? And we shouldn't make religion a problem and fight with each other and try to make everybody in one religion or other religion or something like that. We just try to live with love and peace and care. That's what Islam teaches me. In Islam, in Quran, there is a saying, yes. La ikraha fit deen. I'm not a religious scholar, but I do know what I believe in. Especially, I was telling him about a story that when I was in Pakistan, I only knew about most of the things about Islam only. But after coming to Korea, I got in contact with lots of religions. Buddhism, Christianity, Jewism, you know, I mean, uh, Hinduism, a lot of religions. And I learned lots of things from them. So now, I think I'm a better Muslim than I was back in Pakistan because I learned lots of things. And this strengthened my belief in the religion that I was believing in. Oh. Lots of things now make sense to me. Yes, yes. The different uh, perspective give you more the exactly. learning. You can exactly. learn more things. I, I learn a lot of things. That what happened to me after coming to Korea. And now I feel like uh, all, all religions are beautiful. And Islam is a really beautiful religion too. And I'm really proud of uh, being, a, being a Muslim. <laughs> And uh, I'm really happy to have friends from all other religions too. And yeah, we get along really good. We talk, we debate a lot, you know, yes, but at the yes. end, we're really good friends. We learn from each other. And, and I think Islam, as a Muslim, as I said in the Quranic words, like Raha Fiddin, there is no pressure or force in religion. You, you cannot force anybody to be a part of any religion or any culture. You can talk to each other, you can share information, and then, you know, it's up to you, up to whoever. We need to, like, respect everybody and love everybody everybody take care of him that is more important believing in God you know I mean I think it's the same thing that's what I believe in uh, that's what I think but I'm still studying a lot of things and I'm trying to learn a lot of things I request everybody to learn about things to try to make more knowledge and information you know that's what we should do I think I think yeah. I'm not a religious scholar I'm just saying <laughs> yeah, what right. I believe in and what I think uh, no matter what what your religion we can to make the harmony with exactly you. true yeah we don't need to fight like <laughs> exactly I mean yeah I mean just just yeah. pray to God like hey God please guide me in the good way that's yeah. it even if you don't yeah. believe God Alhamdulillah <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> everybody has a God you know even if you don't believe in there is a God mm. <laughs>
That's what I believe in. <laughs> okay, so thank you for coming and thank you for talking with very serious topic. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was really serious topic. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, I hope yeah it helpful maybe. <laughs> Even if we have different opinions like talking True. and debating, it's really important. True. I think. Thank you again. Thank so. you everybody. Thank you for listening to us and thank you for inviting me once uh -huh. again. And it was really nice talking and we will keep talking sure, sure, every sure. now and then, guys. Hope you could we could learn from you. You could learn from us. Please comment below and tell us what we need to talk about and what things could be better he's a really great guy he's a really great youtuber let's learn from each other and let's be better people let's make the world a better place for everybody no matter where you're from no matter what religion what culture what country what racial background you're from we're all the same we are all beautiful people we should love each other make this beautiful world more beautiful every day thank you very much and bye 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 thank you Wow. Don't serious, Tejana. I can tell it.